Several years ago, I was talking to a young man, and I, I said, has anybody ever explained to you how you could go to heaven? And he said, you know what? I don't really want to go to heaven. It sounds boring, and, and I love to party. Heaven is boring? I told that young man, you're absolutely wrong. You don't know anything about heaven, because what the Bible says about heaven is that it's not boring, it's a party. Think about it. Even back in the, the dusty old book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, God commands his nation to celebrate a massive party. In fact, he even tells them, I want you to give a tithe of your income, 10% of your income, not, not to build a temple, not to a church, not even to missionaries or to feed the poor. He said, I want you to use it for a national feast. Everybody's invited, plenty of food, plenty of fun, plenty of fellowship. God loves a party. In fact, God loves parties so much, he built the entire calendar of the Jewish people around seven national feast times. Think about that. And they had a feast every month, a party every month to celebrate the new moon. God loves parties. Think about Jesus. When did he do his first miracle? It was at a wedding party. When was he anointed by Mary for his burial? It was at a dinner party. What about his last meal with his disciples? That was at a supper party. Why were the Pharisees always so upset with him? Because he, he was partying. He was interested in parties. What happens when sinners repent? We're told that in heaven, there's a party that breaks out. What's the kingdom of heaven like? Jesus told us in Luke chapter 14, the kingdom of heaven is like a giant banquet, a giant party. What's the kingdom of God like? It's a banquet. We read about a wealthy man throwing a giant banquet and inviting everybody to come in. Everybody's welcome. Even, it says in verse 21, so the servant came and, he, and the master said to the servant, go out quickly in the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. The master said, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be full. It's going to be a, an incredible banquet with food and fun and fellowship. Everybody's going to be welcome. No, no, no liabilities here. Everybody's welcome. You're poor, you're welcome. You have disabilities, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome in the kingdom of God. Except one group of people. Those who make excuses will be excluded. Look at what it says. It says in verse 18 of Luke 14, all these people were invited it says, but they all with one accord began to make excuses. Verse 24, it says, For I say to you that none of those who made excuses, who were invited but didn't come, but made excuses, none of those shall taste of my supper. Do you know everybody on this planet is invited to be a part of the kingdom of God, to be a part of heaven, to be a part of a giant banquet God's preparing? to be a part of the great party that's in heaven, but most people won't accept the invitation. Don't make excuses, they're too busy. They're, they're too intellectual, they're too religious, they're, they're too caught up in life down here. Life is too hard for them. Don't make excuses. Let me encourage you, stop making excuses. Accept God's invitation fully, share it, with as many people as possible. You want to be in on it because heaven is a party.